the first thing you do as a production designer is imagine the world that these people are going to inhabit. And and Michael Green had really cleverly um, reimagined um, Halloween Party into a Venetian palazzo environment, um, which is is just a production designer's dream, really. So so I was I was I was I was blown away with the the possibilities and um, how we were going to achieve them. I had no idea. Um, Ken initially suggested we. Um, maybe look at locations in the UK that we travel to Venice, look at locations there, think about the possibilities of building it. But um, initially, uh, when we when we first met, um, uh, nobody really knew how we were going to achieve what was what was in the script. What was really appealing from the very first read of the script was was that the the palazzo was was a character. It was it was essentially. One of one of the people that this story was about, and it, it 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 has a role that's kind of much more prominent than in a lot of films where you're moving from world to world. This this world is its own world, and it is potentially responsible for killing these people. So so the the house became, starts to play a really crucial part in in the storytelling. Ken likes to work in a, in 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 a way I think as 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 an actor director often does that you feel the environment is is complete um, and at no point when you look anywhere do you know you're on a set so every set is completely enclosed every set has a ceiling and um, every view out through a window has got a a backing cloth that is believable so as you stand here um looking around not with a film camera but to the naked eye you feel like you're in the room and in venice peter russell the supervising art director um was adamant that we needed to build a concrete tank for this it was a it needed to be a very big tank and um, it turns out which i hadn't realized when i started this it was that the gondolas are 11 meters long that's kind of 35 feet long uh, so to to uh, maneuver a number of gondolas around the place which we've had to do to have them sail in, inside um, cabanas um, I would, it became very evident really quickly we were going to need a lot of space and um, we were going to need a lot of tank working with Kembrana has been extraordinary I have to say um, it's it's been a real real experience um, Ken allows you to run with your ideas completely he let me imagine everything that was in my head and created um, into into a world that I was happy with 